Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I saw that there was some comments. Wow, I probably need a little bit more coffee before I hop on here. I'm noticing that I only had one cup of coffee this morning. I did work out, which um, again, for all my MS people, working out super huge. Um, so definitely get on that. We're actually gonna touch on that today because that's gonna be kind of like the main topic of today. Before that, I saw that there are some questions in the comments. Um, and with that being said, I always wanna like make it a point since like people are tuning in to answer any questions that people have. Um, so sorry, I always have a, like the burps or whatever when I want to get on here. Now, with that being said, I wasn't going to remember everybody's name. So what I did, and because everybody has like different names or like different usernames. So I'm just like, let me write these down. Um, so I do have my little notebook that I use for work. Um, we're going to start off, <laughs> we're going to start off with, we have a, a Yaz, a Yaz Jazz 313 um, and she he or she I'm so sorry and if I don't know I don't know because I'm, I'm not gonna assume I'm not assuming because that's a problem nowadays um, <laughs> God that's a whole other thing um, talking about drawing the line with regards to like technology and I, I remember that video where I was talking about like um, you know, it's cool how far technology has gone, um, we, but I think it has been making us lazier. Because um, it, it really has, I mean, in all honesty, like I'm not saying that we would end up, because I mentioned Wally, I'm not saying that we would end up like Wally, but I think that like, if we're not cognizant of what's going on, we can be, it can, it can be very similar. I mean, if you look at like the, the, the level of obesity that's even occurring within the US, like it's getting pretty fucking gnarly. Like, let's just be real there. Now, you asked me how far is too far? Like, where do we draw the line? I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. I don't know. Like, I'm, it would be wrong of me to get on here and tell you, like, like right here. Like, this is where we're going to draw the line. Because, I like, that would be just me giving you, like, bullshit. Um, I think at some point, if, like, everything is being taken away from us in, in regards to, like, actually like getting up and making our own decisions like not getting up and making our own decisions but like having the like ability to just like sit in a cat at a couch or sit at a desk or sit in our bed all day without doing a single thing and everything's just served to us um that's probably a really strong point to draw the line i would presume pretty strong point Probably before that, like a couple steps before that, but like if I had to guess, like that's a really strong point to draw the line. Um, so that's my answer to that question. Um, now we have a Sosa, Sosa 117. I love these names. Um, Sosa 117. Have I had any mobility issues since my diagnosis five years ago? Now I said five years ago, I'm 27, which I'm gonna be 28 on Saturday, actually. So 20, you know what? Actually, yeah, it'll be five years. It'll be five years. I think it's actually, may have already passed. It might be five years. That's so wild. That is so wild. Wow. Okay. Let me move on. Um, wow. Mobility issues. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have. Um, they haven't been like, they haven't been terrible. Like it hasn't been anything where like, I, how do I say it? Like it hasn't been anything debilitating, like where I needed to be in a wheelchair, knock on wood, cause I, you know. Um, but I have <clears throat> had like, uh, uh, what is it? Um, the heavy foot, like the dead foot, where it's like hard to lift your foot up. Um, I have had that. I've had um, like really extreme, I don't know if this is vertigo. I'm not really sure what this is, um, but it feels like, like I've, in the beginning stages, I would have it like where um, I like, kind of like, how do I describe it? Um, I felt like I was gonna fall over 
like it was like not even dizziness because I wasn't dizzy but it was like I feel like it was gonna fall over and it kind of felt like there was like an earthquake like it's really it I I understand how crazy this sounds because it's kind of really hard it's hard to describe but um yeah the beginning it, it might have been vertigo like where I was just kind of like ooh, where where am I and like kind of like uh uh yeah um miss like I would misstep like I would like take a misstep and I would like uh, almost yeah I'd almost fall because I was like um oh, I'm so I'm so sorry that I'm, I'm describing it like I'm not doing a great job of describing it because it's hard to describe but um it would make me lose my balance but I wasn't um it wasn't because my knees were weak or anything like that like I wasn't like having like trouble walking it was just like it was like there was like an earthquake or some shit. It's so hard to describe and I understand that this is not making sense, but I'm trying to do my best in order to like describe it to you. Um, and that, but that was weird. Um, what's, your, what's a way of thinking about it? No, that's not even similar. I was gonna say that like, you know, like there's a ride where it like takes away your gravity and like you kind of like get sucked back and like you're spinning though. Um, and then after you feel like the feeling you have after that, but it's not, it's not like that. So I guess that doesn't really, that's not going to be applicable to this. Um, so yeah, I've had mobility issues, but it, it, none of it has been like, um, uh, debilitating. Like I've had it. So like when I wake up in the morning or even, even like when I was sleeping, I like, couldn't feel like the right side of my leg. Um, which is always, that's kind of like, that's always a little nerve wracking. Like in the beginning, that was some, some scary shit. <laughs> that was some scary stuff. Um, that was some scary stuff. But to be honest with you, like I uh, haven't been taking any medication for the past um, five months, five months, I wanna say. But I've, I've been on a really good diet I've been challenging, challenging myself mentally. I've been reading a lot of books and I've been working out and I haven't been drinking, like I haven't been smoking weed, like I haven't been doing drugs basically. Not that I do a ton of drugs in the first place, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, and I gotta be honest with you, I feel fucking great. Again, knock on wood, cause who knows. Um, so I think really in all honesty, like getting on our strong, just like schedule and like just being a healthy fucking person, like being just a healthy person, that'll, that goes miles. And like, I think even like challenging yourself, that'll go miles because then at that point, like you're not necessarily fighting a battle with MS anymore. You're fighting a battle with yourself. And so now the MS is just kind of like a sideline viewer. Like you, like you have MS. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you've been diagnosed with MS, but it's kind of like you're a quarterback in the game, and MS is on the sidelines. You know what I mean? Like you're too focused on winning the game, like which game is life. <laughs> you're too focused on winning the game that you can't think about substituting in a player and focusing on that player. You know what I mean? Like you, like then that's like necessarily not like the most fantabulous or fantastic analogy, but you, you understand what I'm saying? Where it's like. It's like focus on being the best version of yourself. And then all of a sudden, like your autoimmune disease will start to dissipate, like straight up, straight up. As, you, as soon as you start like focusing on what it is that you can control, cause you can't control MS, bottom line. And I think as soon as you accept that you can't control that you have an autoimmune disease and you, all you can do is really just like take the steps necessary in order to make sure that you're living the best life that you can possibly live. That's when you, that's when you'll start to notice that like, MS doesn't even, it doesn't even play a factor in your life. Straight up, like I, I really believe in that because I literally, I have, even at work, like I used to work in a fast paced environment, like I did like um, agency recruiting. And even at work, people would be like, oh, I forgot that you have MS. My girlfriend forgets that I have MS. Like she forgets to have MS. Cause I just, it's not really a part of my life. It's, it's, it's something that I was diagnosed with five years ago. Yeah. For sure, but it doesn't, it does, it's not, it's nothing. I don't know, like, <laughs> so uh, that was a really long-winded answer in regards to like the mobility side of things, but yeah, uh, I, I have had mobility issues before, but just being a healthy person and being just on a healthy diet, being, working out, challenging yourself, 
that'll that'll dissipate that. Um, I made an internal promise to myself with regards to these videos. I don't want to make these videos really any longer than 12 minutes. Um, and since I'm a yammerer, um, my next video will just be about working out. But I'm glad that this could be a Q&A and it's really, really quite a uh, quite telling of how much I talk when it took me 10 minutes to answer two questions. So <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah, I have a lot to say, that's all. I just have a lot to say. But yeah, uh, my next video will be about uh, working out and MS and how much that plays into um, honestly just being, a, a feeling better and like, and honestly probably helps with the MS itself. But uh, again, thank you for tuning in and yeah, that's it. Peace.